Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Debian Linux 13.0 on VMA Workstation. Okay, first go to Debian official website and download Debian.wars. Then go to other downloads. Then click on download mirrors. Then go up. See here we have CD and DVD option. I am going to download DVD. CD size is 700 megabytes and DVD size is 4.7 gigabytes. Okay. I am going to download this DVD USB. So click on AMD or i386. Click on it to download. Then scroll down. Click on Debian 13.0.0 DVD ISO. See download started and its size is 3.7 gigabytes. I am cancelling this one because see here I have already downloaded. In your case, wait until download completes. Once the download is completed, then open VMA workstation. Then click on create a virtual machine, create a new virtual machine or go to file and select new virtual machine. Both are same. Then click on next. Now Select the installer disk image file that is ISO, then click on browse, then select the downloaded ISO image, then click on next, select type as Linux, version as Debian, see, do not have the Debian 13, but select the latest one from this list, then click on next, then provide the name for the virtual machine. I am giving Debian 13 VM. This is just virtual machine name. Then select the location to store this virtual machine files and folders. Select the path where you have the NF space. Click on next. Then we have to provide the virtual hard disk. I am giving 50 gigabytes. Then click on next. See, this is the virtual machine summary. If you want to modify any one of these settings, then click on Customize Hardware. I want to increase memory to 4 GB. Then click on Close. Or click on Finish. Still, we can able to edit. Let me show you. See, still if you want to edit the settings of this virtual machine, click on Select from this list. Then click on Edit Virtual Machine Settings. Or right click and select Settings. Or go to VM and select Settings. All three options are same. If you want to provide any description for this virtual machine, we have to provide here. If you are okay with all the settings, then click on power on this virtual machine. Now use the up and down arrows and select the first one that is graphical install and hit enter. Select the language and click on continue. Then select location. See here, the selected location will be Use it to set your time zone and also for example to help select the system locally. Normally this should be the country where you live. Okay, select the country from this list from this list and click on continue. Select the keyboard model or keyboard language and click select it and click on continue. Now we have to provide the host name for the Debian 13. But if you want to change, you can change it later. Okay. Click on continue. Then if you have domain, provide the domain name. Otherwise, keep it as blank and continue. Now we have to set the password for root account. Confirm the same. Then click on continue. Now we have to create or set up user. I am giving user full name as Artiscus. Then click on continue. This will be the username. Now we have to set the password for this new user. Then click on continue. See here, we have to configure the clock. Also notice here, the time zones are all related to United States because we have selected country as United States. That's why we received these time zones. Select the time zones from this list and click on continue.
partition disk i am going with guided use anti disk or you can set up lvm or encrypted lvm or manual okay then click on continue select disk to partition see here we have only one then click on continue or you want to separate partitions you have to select i want to go with all files in one partition then click on continue this is the confirmation if you want to undo changes you have to select undo changes to partitions i am okay with this settings then click on, then select this finish partitioning right changes to disk and continue this is confirmation select test yes and continue configure the package manager you want to scan additional media then you have to select yes i don't want select no and continue use a network mirror i don't have so select no and continue participate in package user survey i don't want so select no and continue software selection see here we have the desktop debian desktop environment gnome and other options i am going to use gnome desktop environment then if you want app server or ssh server you have to select these options it is up to you then click on continue now see here install the grub bootloader to your primary drive select test yes and continue select the device and continue see installation complete so it is time to boot into your new system make sure to remove the installation media so that you boot into new system rather than restarting the installation okay so remove the attached iso file go to settings then go to cd dvd and select the check boxes then click on okay then click on continue to reboot click on username then provide the password skip now open terminal now we have the version that you have install more slash etc os hyphen release see here we have installed debian 13 see and it's version code name is trixie okay if you want to verify ip of this machine just give if config See, I have config not found, but we can find the IP address by running IP add. See, this is the IP of the machine. Okay. Next, we have to update the packages. Sudo apt update. Ampersand ampersand. Sudo apt upgrade. Hit enter. Provide the password of sudo user. This is not sudo user. Switch to root account. Provide the password of root account. Now run same. Sudo apt update ampersand ampersand sudo apt upgrade see this is the expected error to avoid this error we have to go to cd etc apt ls see here we have the sources dot list we have to edit it vi source hit enter See, we have to comment this command. Okay, press I to insert mode. Give the hash symbol. Escape. Colon W exclamation. Now run the same command. See, this time we are able to run. Okay. So, in this video we have seen how to download and install Debian 13.0.0 on VMware Workstation. Okay. For more Linux tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.